And pandas are very skittish of any human contact in the wild. That means some details of how they live have been a mystery, perhaps until now. Research conducted jointly by American and Chinese teams is yielding some new insight. Here's CCTV's Jim Spellman. Studying giant pandas is anything but easy. There are only about 1,800 of the elusive mammals in the wild, most of them confined to about 21,000 square kilometers in southwestern China. Pandas, like the ones here at the National Zoo in Washington, D.C., are huge attractions. But until now, little has been known about how pandas spend their time in the wild. But a new study is revealing how pandas travel, feed, and interact with other pandas. Five pandas in the Wolong Nature Reserve in Sichuan Province were fitted with GPS collars. Their movements tracked for two years. The research was conducted by Michigan State University in the United States, working with researchers at the China Conservation and Research Center for the Giant Panda. Pandas are really interesting in the sense that they're very secretive, uh, they don't like people, and they live in these habitats that are very uh, secluded and remote, and also that the vegetation in their habitat is very dense. So we, when we got this unique opportunity to get some GPS collars and put them on wild pandas, it was just so exciting to be able to, to say that we'd be able to follow them around remotely. Researchers were surprised to find that pandas are not the solitary creatures previously thought. The pandas studied often spend time close to other pandas. We like to think of them as being um, just sort of in their own little world, in their own little bamboo patch. Um, but in reality, they're probably uh, very much paying attention to what their neighbors are doing, what other pandas around them are doing, and even interacting directly. And their movements are far from random. The study revealed that pandas often return to a feeding area after bamboo, the staple of the panda diet, has a chance to regrow. I think it's important to, to think in terms of that, uh, just for conservation and recognizing that we really need to be conserving areas that are large enough uh, for these interactions to happen between pandas. Conservation efforts have led to a slow growth in panda populations. Pandas are uh, important indicators of ecosystem health. And researchers hope this new data will help better understand pandas as they face new challenges from changing habitats, climate change, and human interactions. How uh, people affect the panda habitat, how changes in the panda habitat affect uh, the uh, policy. And then how panda policy change will affect the people behavior and how people behavior change will affect the panda habitat again. So we are focused on these complex interactions among pandas, people and policies. Policies that could help pandas survive and even thrive. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington.